Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making this So having covered our square cake, we are going to draw the dimensions for our traditional box. So the whole cake is about 6 inches tall. So I am drawing dots at 3 inch because I want a line in the center. You know we are making a box and a box always has a line in the center. So I am drawing two lines in the center with my ruler. Now I have rolled a piece of fondant and I'm going to be cutting three uh, I'm going to be cutting some strips. The marks I'm putting on this fondant is 1 inch wide. I am just making drawing it so that I can cut a straight strip. So depending on how long your strip is, make sure you cut as many strips as you can or as many strips that will cover your entire box because we are going to be using these strips to put on the edges of our box. So this is one of the strips out of the many that I have cut. So I'm using some icing sugar on it and now I'm going to be using a cobblestone embosser on the fondant strip so i am just pressing it hard across my fondant so that it will give me the desired pattern so feel free to use whatever you have to create your pattern now this is a stitching wheel i am going to be taking the one that i need that will give me the look that looks like when you are sewing something okay so i'm going to be doing that on the edge of both on the edge of the strip and this is how you are going to be doing all of your strips so rub some edible glue on the edges of your cake and start putting your your strips one after the other watch carefully and observe how i am doing it so if this is your first time of coming to my channel and you like what you're seeing please look below and click on the subscribe button and also do not forget to click on the notification bell so that you know when we post awesome videos like this we love to decorate we love to work with fondant we love to bake we love, love to work with wafer paper we just love kicking it irresistibly and also we would love to hear from you so please drop your comments also do not forget to give us a thumbs up also share this video on all your social media platform share it on your instagram share it on your whatsapp share it everywhere with your friends we'll be so glad if you do so thank you so much for all you have been doing for us god bless you all right so maybe if this is your first time too and you don't know that we have other videos and you don't know how to cover a square cake or you don't know how to trim a uh, square cake i have the link to those videos in my description box maybe you should like just quickly go there and watch those ones before you get get to this one okay so that you know how to do everything perfectly these videos will help you very well make sure you watch watch them to the end to get best results Okay, so now I am dividing one of the strips into two so that you have each side to be half an inch. You know, the full uh, strip is one inch. So I'm going to be using that at the bottom of the cake because it is assumed that the other half is under. So you have to put half inch at the bottom. So you put that on the four sides of the cake. Okay, so now it's time to take care of the side edges. We are going to be doing this exactly what I'm doing to all the four edge edges. Okay, so I'm starting with the bottom and then make sure that you leave the center, you know where the line is open because you don't want to block that part. That's where the box opens up. So make sure you keep it open and then make sure you do exactly what I'm doing on all this. After cutting it, use the stitching tool to stitch up every part that is left bare.
So I've just rolled a piece of fondant. I rolled it very thin, almost very thin, okay? And I'm just cutting very tiny strips. And this is what we are going to be making the bottom, or sorry, the center of the box. You know, it's like that part where the box opens up, opens up rather. We are going to be putting these strips there. We are going to put in two strips to show that that is the opening of the box. And so we are going to be doing this around, but we are not going to be doing this at the back of the box. We are just going to be doing this on the three sides. Okay, so it's time to make the uh, belt and the, what is it? <laughs> I don't even remember what that is. Anyway, we are going to be making the belt for the box now. Alright, so having done that, we are going to be doing this for the back of the box. You know, the back of the box is 
different. You know, there's usually something that will help uh, helps to open up the box. I don't know the exact name, but this is what I'm doing. Okay, this is a traditional box, and it usually has it. So we are almost done with our box. The next thing we are going to be doing is cleaning up and just uh, making our box look more prettier by doing different kinds of things or get to it. But uh, I have a video that shows you the extra toppings that come on top of this box. That is uh, making of the cola nuts, making of the pan wine gourd and the beads. I have the link in the description, bo box, description box below. You can just go there and watch how I did them thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so and please leave us a comment we'll love to hear from you